She sent three tickets. We'll settle this. The four of us will compete in hidden camera challenges on the way down to Miami, and the loser doesn't go to the party. Your object is to get people to stop to help you. I lost my virginity in this car. It was a hell of a night. Hey, show me what you have in the trunk. You don't work for the fuzz, do you? <laughs> I'm just his number one fan. I need a little bit more crazy eyes. <laughs>
such a basic concept, but it's just so funny the shit they do in public, especially. Um, and then as far as the movie goes, you can kind of break it down into two different categories. There's like the movie plot, like scripted scenes. And then there's the classic um, competition scenes that are just like the show. And I do think the movie scripted scenes were kind of rough, but then like the competition scenes were like really good. So it definitely helped make up for it. Yeah. I, uh, we, yeah, like as Devin said, we have been show uh, fans of the show for a while. Um, I know season, <laughs> was it season five that they make fun of? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know that was a, that was a thing. I, they just made that up. Yeah, I, I I didn't know if that was a thing either. Apparently, something happened because they they definitely put it into the movie, and I was like, okay, this is either some kind of running joke, or I don't know, it might have been some kind of production interference. But if you do know, let us know in the comment section down below. If you're listening to this on YouTube, or give us a shout out on Twitter about it. But yeah, um, I definitely agree with you there, Devin. The um, the movie aspect of it, you know, the quote unquote storyline part of the movie wasn't that good you know i mean it's but like we weren't really expecting yeah it was was exactly what i expected i expected the competition parts to be the the funniest things and then i expected the the movie stuff to be pretty rough and there's a lot of paula abdul which was very random um she she's not i don't know where she came from yeah like well when the movie first starts you know, it's like, oh, well, let's turn the clock back to 1992. And, you know, it, it, was, it was pretty funny how they just <laughs> like didn't de-age themselves at all. They just all put wigs on. <laughs> that was his Sal, Sal's hair was <laughs> too much. He was like, Dad, there's gonna be pot and smoking there. Like, I want to make sure. I was like, they're literally just like coming into their own when they were like, you know, teenagers and whatnot. But. I yeah I I really did enjoy that part. I was like, what is going on? Because I was kind of confused for a second. Because you know, as, as we said, you know, it switches back and forth between you know the challenges and the jokes, and then the movie plot. But once you know you figure out what's going on, then it's pretty easy to follow along. It's like, oh, okay. I was actually, so this- actually kind of worried in that like initial Red Lobster scene. I was like, oh, this this <laughs> might be a little rough because that Red Lobster scene didn't really get any laughs. No, but my theater loved this movie so oh, yeah. much. There were everyone there was a would, lot of cackling. Oh my god, dude! We were like my theater. We were my entire audience. We were busting out laughing. Like I mean, there they were probably small little like one liners that like we couldn't even hear because people were laughing so loud and just having the time of their lives and normally this it was showing at uh, a theater near me but not the theater that i normally go to which is like right down the street i i I had to go to essentially my my dolby theater for this uh you know where where i go see all the the big movies but yeah it was (laughs) it was the only theater (laughs) in my city that was actually playing the movie and it was like I think it was in our, uh, I think like theater three or whatever, but it's like tucked behind like this super small room that like doesn't have like the best seats or anything like that. But um, <laughs> there was this, yeah. there's specifically an old man sitting right next to me who was just dying the whole movie. That That's pretty much how it was with me. Like I didn't have anyone, uh, ex- um, you know, directly right. Um, on the side of me of each of my seats but there are people there's like a space in between but there was this one lady who was just like her laugh was so contagious and you could just tell she was just having the time of her life and it it was was, those are always the best theater experiences (laughs) when everyone you can just feel the the laugh energy yeah, people are literally just, you know, quoting back the movie already. And <laughs> man, it was, it was a great time. But yeah, the, the whole Paula Abdul thing, I was like, all right, that's random. But like, I it guess doesn't get, it, it doesn't get much more random than that. <laughs> yeah, because it's like you guys went to, and, and I'm assuming, you know, the start of the movie was something that actually happened. Yeah, I'm assuming Paula Abdul is actually a fan. So they decided to <laughs> include her in the movie. Or, or if I mean, I, I would be very surprised if like that actual sequence, minus the whole, you know, throat punching <laughs> Sal with Paula Abdul thing happens. 
but I, I imagine some way, shape, or form they snuck their way into a Paul Abdul concert. Yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. Uh, I actually was kind of hoping they were going to show actual footage, like of when Sal was recording with his old camera. But oh yeah, like way back in the day, that that would have been really cool. I think that would have been a really nice touch for sure. <laughs> But um, I, I guess what I guess we'll get into it. What was like your fu- your favorite challenge? Oh, it's, it's, it's wow! An easy, it's an easy one for me. Was it the? It's time, oh, wait, it's time for spoilers. Yeah, it's it's time for spoilers. Pretty much uh, from here on out. Um, we don't. I couldn't find a movie clip of it um, of this, so we're just gonna dive into spoilers right now. So you've been warned. J- Jaden Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden Smith was the funniest part to me. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. And he's like, <laughs> I, I, I have this whole other thigh here ready to go. <laughs> he was like, hey, Jaden, we'll see you in five years. <laughs> Ho- hopefully sooner. <laughs> hopefully sooner. I can't. I totally forgot That's about so that. It's so cool dude. that he actually, they actually got him to do that. Yeah, that was like, really cool. Like he's not like, like, he's not above something so silly like that. That's pretty cool. Right. It's, you know, it's, it's celebrities having, having great, you know, good fun with all this. I actually thought you were going to say, the either um oh my gosh when q's giving the social media talk at that, <laughs> that one was also expo. very funny <laughs> or the um oh my gosh i think i think what really gave it for me i think the interview with the atlanta hawks that was pretty, was hysterical pretty solid. i think that was my favorite next to when they um you're the quote-unquote <laughs> stranded on the side of the road <laughs> oh my gosh we apologize everyone the, the, the movie is just great so there's going to be a lot of laughing i, I think it, it i is. think Murr might have gotten the best laugh out of me actually when he was wearing that thong <laughs> the guy's like no nah, i ain't into that he just laughs he's like yeah i'm, I'm out i think q's was the best the wait no it wasn't you'll think it was no i think it was q uh, when they're stranded on the side of the road, and he kind of just gives up <laughs> with a with his like coke, quote, like cocaine in the back of his truck. Yeah, he just closes the hood, closes the truck, and drives off. He's like, "Yo, what? Like I thought you, you were stranded. <laughs> you never saw me." <laughs> he was so confused when he drove away. Oh my gosh! Yes, but I I definitely think <laughs> the interview was the best. He just he, he goes to the bathroom and he, they just show him on the basketball court. <laughs> Joe, he's like, she, uh, he has an interview. Security's an issue, huh? Right. He has an he has a. <laughs> oh my gosh! I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, but <laughs> he um, he, Joe has an interview with the Atlanta Hawks security manager. <laughs> he has to go to use the bathroom. And she's like, yeah, sure. But, like, you could totally tell she was keeping her composure the entire time. And then, like, as soon as she left, he, she was like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on with this guy? And he just walks down and starts playing basketball. He's like, man, <laughs> security sucks around here, doesn't it? And yeah. she didn't say a word. I was like, wow, kind of sort of called then, you out. And then as soon as she walks in, he just she asked him a question. He just goes, nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I, 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 I can't talk about my uh, sh- sh- <laughs> my shadowy past. I was like, what is going on right now? <laughs> Man, this movie was just, it, it, it was, you know, I, I think, and so towards the end, like actually at the very end with, with Murray, was, was he, he was actually on that plane? I think so. I mean, they didn't, that's one of the issues I had was the ending. They didn't really explain anything. It kind of just happened. Yeah, it and definitely looked real. Yeah, no, it looked it looked so. I was like, there's no freaking way that he did that. But maybe I mean I can't really put it past him because they they've done so many crazy things, and even with the, with the urn. Uh, I, oh, forgot man, I forgot about that. <laughs> I I think that was probably like that the, was the first <laughs> one. I think. Yeah, I think that was like the weakest one, the weakest challenge. It was but still good. Like it when, was still when Sal good, yeah. was rapping. <laughs> I think Murray's was the funniest because he was he was like dear dearest grandma. <laughs> you're a bitch. <laughs> dearest grandma, you're a bitch. Me and grandpa stole all your money. And then he leaves the urn at the very end. He just <laughs> Oh man, that was great. Uh 
But I, oh my, I'm trying to think what other challenge that they the, do. Um, the the joke cave dweller. Oh my gosh, yes. He looked like Nosferatu. He looked like, yeah, a little bit of Nosferatu with a uh, combination of um, uh, Schmeagol from um, Lord of the Rings. His, his shirt got a <laughs> laugh out of me on that one. I, I <laughs> am the beef. I am the beef. That's right. I was like, what does his shirt say again? One lady's like, I like your shirt. He's like, <laughs> I am the beef. <laughs> he was like, oh my gosh. She's like, what, what, what year is it? <laughs> He called out the um the oh my gosh the um the 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 tourist or not not oh the the tour giver um <laughs> yeah the tour guide the tour guy oh my gosh I'm losing my words right now but <laughs> what did he say if you're gonna talk um <laughs> yeah, if you if you're gonna talk hide your ass at least turn around so I can understand it <laughs> everyone in my theater is like oh man. <laughs> But yeah, um, like we said, there really isn't much to tell for the story here. I thought it was funny. Um, up, but but up as you point. as you can tell, we're pretty much only like discussing the actual competition parts because there really wasn't anything funny for this for the movie scripted parts. Besides Paul Abdul like throat punching Sal, yeah, there really wasn't anything else. The rest like, of it, it was was it definitely dragged it down, like. Yeah, uh, very um, loosely scripted as well. But yeah, you know, I mean, you know, they tried their best, and it, you know, we like we said, we weren't ex- ex- we're not expecting this amazing journey because like this, this is a movie to just kind of unwind, turn your brain off, and it's just like a extra long hour special of impractical jokers as as if you were watch on TV, just a little bit more of a higher quality. The movie kind of just ends. Yeah, you know, they, the ending is they, they definitely take a, an issue. Right. Yeah. The, the ending was an issue for those who, you know, it's they, 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 you know, they run into Paula Abdul at Red Lobster. She's like, oh, you know, we were having a party down in Miami. You should come. And she gives them these VIP passes. There's four of them. There's only three tickets uh, to get into VIP. So they, as they're driving down to Miami, is when the challenges happen to find out, you know, who gets left out. But I will say, I think the funniest part from the movie side of it is when they were trying to figure out what Murr does. Yeah, that, that was actually pretty clever. <laughs> that that like, was a good. That was a good gag. Every single one of them just had like a run-in with him. He just has these random parties. One he was of them having was like, like these... a, an old lady swinger party at one point. <laughs> he had an old lady swinger party. He had the phone party, and then he had the workout session. Yeah. <laughs> Man, and which was really funny. He's like, yeah, can, can I uh, get the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> Joe just doesn't even give it like a second thought. Hey, is it all just, caps? Or? <laughs> all caps? No. Yes. <laughs> but Q and <laughs> Sal are like, wait, wait a minute. Like, what's going on here? But yeah, I, I think that was uh, definitely one of the best parts of the movie side. I, I would actually this. say they kind of made Murr the main character. Yeah. It's yeah. Strange, they pretty much- strangely <laughs> enough. Oh my gosh! When, when they took him for his birthday to that strip club, oh yeah, and then, his fa- oh whole family. Oh my gosh, nieces, nephews, like everyone. That, in that's an Atlanta strip there. club too, so you know yeah. he's serious. <laughs> I was like, "What are they doing in Atlanta?" I was like, "Oh my gosh!" As soon as those um, curtains opened up and that window came through, I was like, "Oh my gosh, the children!" <laughs> I was oh, luckily man. those strippers weren't too. Uh, yeah, they weren't, they weren't um half uh, Super Bowl <laughs> halftime level, right? Yeah, they 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 weren't they weren't super professional in what they do and what we've you know they had some cloth. Seen. Yes, they had some cloth. Yeah, that 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 as well. I, I thought that was a very nice touch. I think <laughs> I think it was during the urn challenge when q it was q's turn and it was i think it was a family and the girl there was like 13 and he couldn't read it he couldn't read the rest of his yeah. script he's like he's like wait how old are you she's like she's 13 he's like nope forget it just forget it i was like yeah that's i mean i really like how they you know they, they still respect certain aspects of their <laughs> of their um i guess you could say oh my gosh i'm trying to figure out the word for their their facade 
you know, because like yes, they'll they'll try to figure out how far is too far. And, and then there's always there's always <laughs> the times that it just goes a little too far. They have to back just out. a little too far. I mean the, the tiger, <laughs> the tiger and the um <laughs> in the um in the apartment. I don't understand not the apartment, why he's the hotel. so scared of ha- of cats. I mean, I mean, I understand I mean, being afraid of a tiger, but like he's yeah. also scared of regular cats. cats. Yeah, that 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 is a very irrational fear. But I think <laughs> when he when he tries to open up the second door and it's just a poster of a kitten, that, that <laughs> kitten was good. Hang in there, hang in there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, being locked in a room with a with a white tiger is pretty. Yeah, but because <laughs> it's like you can have this domestic the domesticated tiger that's been bred in captivity, but you know, instincts are still instincts. So that, that, that that thing can literally take you out in like a second or two, because I would be pretty scared of that, but yeah, it is a pretty weird fear to have, but uh, was there anything else you wanted to touch on with the film? Did uh, did you notice the very small Will Ferrell appearance? Yes, I did. Oh oh my gosh. I almost forgot. We almost forgot to bring this up. Yeah. I was just sitting there watching the scene. (laughs) There's just just these two girls talking and he's just (laughs) sitting behind them eating eating alone. (laughs) I was like, what is going on? It it actually does make sense though, because the movie was produced by funny or die and he like runs funny or die. Yeah. And I totally forgot about that. I didn't even think about, I was like, what? Like it happened. I I really wish he had had more, but it being that small, just makes it even funnier. Kind of. That was perfect. Like he was was sitting there eating like a burger or something. Yeah. Just all alone. (laughs) I was like, why is in Miami? (laughs) I was like, that's really weird. And just because everyone caught, like, I think half of our audience caught it. And then I was like, what? And then I looked up. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> but that was a very, very nice nod between him and um, Jaden Smith. So that was that was cool. And of course, it, Joey it, Fatone at the end had to, had to bring him in. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot about Joey Fatone. That was the one, um, the, the one celebrity that I totally that just kind of went over my head there for a second but um uh for how did you feel about the pacing of the whole film i didn't feel like it was it was like what an hour and 30 minutes yeah i will say we're gonna keep like kind of shitting on the the scripted parts but every time there was a scripted part it really did drag i felt like i was just like all right get to a get to a competition here come on competition here yeah i mean i'm glad that they made this movie though because it is something that it's just, um, I don't know. It, I feel like I felt like it was needed. It was definitely a breath of fresh air, and I was very curious to see how they're going to make this movie anyway. Because you know, if they would have stuck with like just the script, I wouldn't really have cared. But I'm glad that they they did challenges along the way, for sure. Yeah, but, definitely needed. Yeah, <laughs> the the challenges definitely saved it. But um, you ready to uh, get into scores? Yeah. All right, so um, I think what I'm going to do for this, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to give this guy like a solid, hmm, I, I would say I, I would give it like a solid like 82 out of 100 just That's because I, I, I had a lot of fun with the movie and, you know, it's, it's wouldn't, you go to a theater and you're laughing that much and you kind of just for, will lose track of time and, you know, forget about all the worries with, with it being a Friday to, you know, it's just been a really long week. So uh, yeah, I, I would definitely go. Um, what did I say? 83, 82, uh, the, 83, 82, 82, 82. 82. What about you? I'm going to go with a, a solid 70. Okay. Like I said, the, uh, the scripted parts and the ending were, both really rough but the other stuff definitely helped make up for it yeah absolutely <laughs> i still can't get over the uh <laughs> the cute social media like over 600 people man his mom and his dad doing oh. for. <laughs> i need I have some bushes and eat trimming <laughs> the, the reactions to, are just like seed <laughs> The reactions in that audience, they were just like, oh, my gosh. I mean, obviously, there are people there that just were not having it. But, yeah, that was great. 
But uh, anyway, I will say it, it. I mean, it sounds obvious, but if you like the show, you're gonna like the movie. Like I can guarantee that. Absolutely, you know, and even you know, and I, I implore everyone to just just go watch it, even if you haven't seen any of the seasons. Um, the the movie pretty much gives you a really good idea of what the show is about. So definitely go uh, give it a watch. I but, saw I saw a review on IMDb. Someone gave it one stars. And they said they didn't like the show, but and then also hated the movie. Well, if you don't like the show, why the fuck would you see the movie? <laughs> yeah, that's <is> very true. <laughs> so stupid. That's true. That's yeah. That that it absolutely makes no sense whatsoever. It's like it's like that's like someone saying, "I hate anime, but I'm gonna go see the new My Hero Academia movie that comes out next week." Or yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's just some random stuff. That that's. That's stupid. <laughs> but anyway, I believe that wraps up our review here of the Impractical Jokers movie. That was Devin. My name is Christian as well. Um, and just want to do uh, thank you again, Devin. You know, I thank you every single time that we do one of these things. But it's always nice to show appreciation of those of your uh, of your friends, you know. So um, it's Friday. That's all I really care about. But again, for everyone out there listening, you can listen to this podcast on apple Podcasts, spotify stitcher google play anchor youtube uh podbean etc etc you can also follow us follow us on twitter everyone we, and we also have an instagram page um that i somehow run both of them honestly it's 10 times easier to run an instagram page i feel like over twitter i feel like twitter is a little bit more difficult because you know, I have my personal Twitter and then you have the one for the podcast, but you know, we pretty much kind of have the same followers on each um, side, but it's like crap, you know, when I talk about movies, which one should I go to? But I'm still trying to find that balance in itself, but definitely. Uh, yeah. Give us a uh, shout out on um, Twitter. Uh, we're at film optics and optics is spelled across the board. O P T I X. So there's that. And I believe we're just gonna, yeah. Happy Sunday, everyone. We're, we're recording this on Friday, but this is coming out on Sunday and we will uh, see you guys in the next one. Shout out Jaden Smith. Shout out to Jaden Smith and Will Ferrell. Ha, ha, ha.